You have an intricate knowledge of Clamp's back catalog. Your ideal relationship dynamic is team mom, team dad. Your ideal relationship dynamic is guys being dudes. What's better than this? Your ideal relationship dynamic is pinky in the brain. You are a firm believer in the inherent eroticism of that meme that's like, yeah, we gay, keep scrolling. You are a firm believer in the inherent eroticism of being stupid together. You are a firm believer in the inherent eroticism of not only wanting to kill each other, but actually going through with it. You think the key to a good rom-com is making sure the main couple hates each other for a good, like, one-third of the movie, at least. This is just the same joke as Joseph and Caesar, except you actually read the manga and probably won't shut up about it. You aren't a monster fucker, and yet somehow your ideal relationship dynamic is the plot of the movie Venom. You're just here for some friendly muscle men. You're just here for some bishis. You just want to fuck villains, and really, who wouldn't? You want to get licked by Bruno Buccellati. You just wanted good things for Pucci, and, like, honestly, good things for Pucci probably could have saved everyone a lot of trouble. You are horny, feral, and probably not even ashamed that I'm about to hit you with the- FBI, open up! You're always a slut for characters who are just straight up unhinged. This is just the same joke as Josuke and Rohan, but you're also always a slut for male boob windows. You either want a Yandere GF, or you want to be a Yandere GF. You really wish Jonathan hadn't been done so dirty by the ending of part one. You really wish Anasui hadn't swapped genders between chapters. You really wish Josuke had been conceived under, like, any other circumstances. You really liked the movie Your Name. Oh, no. You are a scaly.